Democrats don't want you driving cars, flying on planes, or having children, all for the sake of the environment, which is an utterly abstract concept to them. But they're now coming after your dinner. In New York, Mayor Bill de Blasio has announced meatless Mondays for the entire New York City public school system, the largest on this continent. The purpose, needless to say, is to stop global warming somehow. If you're thinking about our kids individually, <clears throat> we want them to be as healthy as they can be, and we want them to learn as well as they can learn. And Meatless Mondays will help. It'll create more balance in their lives. But we're talking about our climate, the existential threat of global warming. This is something we do that's another contribution to addressing global warming, to striking more of a balance in our whole society. Dumbest politician in America? That's unfair. There's actually one dumber. She's 29. She's in Congress now. And she's also joined the anti-meat cause. She says the new Green New Deal requires people not to eat so many burgers. My Twitter mentions I'm getting a lot of references about cow farts. Mm. And I think that's a reference to your Green New Deal. Yes. Can you explain that for us? we got to address factory farming. Maybe we shouldn't be eating a hamburger for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mark Stein is an author and columnist. He joins us tonight. Mark, or do you feel that your diet is threatened by the newly emergent left? Yeah, I, as I understand it, every time I have a cheeseburger, a, a polar bear dies. Uh, and I don't want to, as that, your previous guest uh, was saying, that nice young lady, uh, we shouldn't be having kids, we should go extinct. But if you do make the mistake of having kids, the least you could do is not have your kids eat meat so that cows will go extinct and therefore there won't be uh, the, the devastation wreaked by bovine flatulence. Uh, we're actually approaching the point at, at which liberal myths are terrorizing millions of hitherto sane people. Yes, that's right. I, so you had the same reaction to that interview with the woman from the UK that I did. I felt sorry for her. I wasn't mad at her. But she's been told by the religious leaders in her global warming cult that having children is wrong. And so she's basically right. joined a monastery and given up her life in service of their weird religion. I mean, she's the victim. Yeah, it, well, actually, uh, modern day uh, climate cultism is uh, rather like the Shakers. Uh, the Shakers, you'll recall, uh, in parts of uh, northern yes. New England, uh, they, they uh, issued breeding so their tribe would not multiply uh, and they could only uh, win over people, create more Shakers by conversion. That's actually modern day liberalism, whether by your previous guest or, or Mayor de Blasio, hence these... Uh, Hence these meatless Mondays, which again is just, it, for de Blasio's point of view, it's just boutique, uh, attitude-striking, narcissistic, solipsistic, navel-gazing, nonsense liberalism. But at the sharp end are people like that uh, young lady you talked to who are terrified yes, because right. they made the mistake of believing these lunatics. That's exactly right. I mean, Jim Jones was hilarious until your niece joined him and moved to Guyana. At which point it became exactly. Really, exactly. really, really tragic. Yep, yeah, yeah. Can I just yeah. point out, though, that the Shakers did useful things. I mean, they had a beautiful yeah, aesthetic yeah. sense. They were, they were tremendous carpenters. They built great furniture and boxes, yeah, right, right, and they're right. famous for their joinery. What do modern progressives create? Oh, well, they, they, that's, uh, that's Shakerism without the attractive furniture. Uh, this, this, other, this, uh, this other big meat story, I mean, I think one of the reasons they don't like meat, by the way, is because it's a primal thing. Even if you get it in a polystyrene Wendy's drive through container, the idea is that uh, that's why the expression red meat is used for particularly raw, uh, bloody rhetoric. Well, exactly. You know, oh, Hitler, exactly. had, a, exactly. Hitler had a Nuremberg rallies and he tossed some red meat to the crowd. So, so actually the war on red meat is part of the sort of uh, anesthetizing of, uh, of society in that sense. You know, it's that, toxic That's true, though I would point out that the genocidal leader you just mentioned was a vegetarian, just in all fairness. Yes, uh, yes, Mark that's true. He militantly. Great to see you. Thank you very much for Always that. Always a pleasure. Great to be with you, Tom.